Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. Uh, I'm delighted to be here to say thank you to all of you for coming out today, for being at this rally, for being on the streets of London and Birmingham and Cardiff and Glasgow and Edinburgh and elsewhere within our nation, declaring very simply to this government that if they thought their fight was over, then they best think again. Because the truth is, the truth is, as Mark rightly said, you speak on behalf of millions of not only public sector workers, all of whom have rejected the attacks on their pensions and on their terms and conditions, but you represent the voice of ordinary men and women who want to reject the government's austerity programme. Now, the mass media will constantly tell us that there is no alternative. And they will constantly tell you that you're wasting your time and there's no point in doing anything. They'd have us all go home and be good little boys and girls and let the government get on with doing what they're doing because they try to debilitate us. And that's why rallies of this nature and strike actions that are being taken are so important. That's why it's important to keep up a campaign of momentum no matter how long it takes. There is no doubt that after the 30th of November, that incredible day, momentum was lost within the campaign. But rather than being defeatist or negative about that, we need to pick up that momentum once more. And Mark's right to say that we need to send a message out that today has been a fantastic success again, and there will be more strike action in June and into the summer and into the winter and into next spring and on and on and on. We need to, we need to make it clear that the coalition of resistance that is being built with community organisations, with church organisations, with student organisations, with senior citizens organisations, is gathering momentum. And Bob Crow was right before, the trade union movement and trade union leaders have a right and a, a, an obligation and a duty to step up and give the type of leadership that's necessary in these extraordinary times. These extraordinary times, where the spivs and the speculators and the greedy bankers have actually destroyed our economies from one country to another and are now expecting ordinary working people to pay the price. Where governments are trying to turn private sector workers against public sector workers and we've got to be clear that that will not happen. In my own union, we have over a million private sector workers and we're making it clear to them constantly that the battle that public sector workers are facing in terms of their pay and their conditions and their pensions is their fight also. Also of course it's their fight to protect our public services, something that we take for granted and it's something that we need to be angry about and make certain that we get our message out to all out there. Sisters and brothers, let me share something personal with you. My mum died two days ago. She was 96 years of age, and for the last 10 years of her life, living in sheltered accommodation, she had a care package where wonderful carers came in a couple of days, uh, a couple of times every day to look after her. Eight weeks ago, she went into a nursing home where fabulous nurses and staff cared for her and made certain that she died with dignity, the way she'd lived her life. All of that provided for by the welfare state. My mum was part of a generation that made certain that having defeated the evils of fascism in Europe, they came back after the Second World War, determined to build a land fit for heroes, determined to banish forever the spectre of hunger and poverty of the 1930s. They built the welfare state. They created the National Health Service. They gave us universal education. And we're not going to allow any posh boys from Eton 
to take that away from us. Sisters and brothers, sisters and brothers, despite their wealth and despite their apparent power, they can never ever defeat working people. They don't understand the spirit of solidarity that courses through our very veins. It's alien to them. And that indefatigable spirit that is represented by my mum and millions of ordinary working people will prevail. Keep the faith and we will succeed. Thanks very much, Dominic.